Yo, what's poppin' you guys, Sizzle here, and this is gonna be a quick guide on how to install Wave Kart Wii, which is a Mario Kart mod that I'm working on, where every week or so, we add a bunch of new tracks to the game that people can create staff goes for. Um, the idea is to kind of keep releasing more and more tracks in Waves, and since there's already hundreds of tracks out there, there's kind of like an infinite sea of stuff to pull from. Uh, either way, to install it, you go to link in the description, uh, talk to um, Wave Kart Wii, the wiki page, There'll be a download button, also a Discord server, so you can join that and, you know, talk about the hack or submit staff ghosts or whatever. Uh, anyway, from here, just hit the download button, and it will download the file you need, or it should download the file you need right away. Uh, there might be more options than Game Banana in the future, you know, that, that will depend on if I end up having this stored in other places. Either way, once it's downloaded, right-click, uh, Extract All. And then hit extract and once that's done you can open up the folder and you'll see two different folders in here uh, now what you want to do is go to your dolphin and i'm going to assume that you have dolphin set up the exact same way that i do if you're missing folders of stuff that i don't say you should be missing it's because your dolphin is set up differently there's going to be a video linked in the description on how to set up dolphin the exact same way that i have it set up uh, either way once you have that set up you want to go into the dolphin x64 folder Go to user, go to we, go to share to, right click, new folder, name it Pulsar, spelled exactly like this with a capital P. And once you're in here, right click, new folder, and name it the same thing as the folder under revolution here. So in our case right now, it's wave cart we. Uh, I'm saying that because I might rename the mod later, and this is going to be future proof. Uh, then double click into that folder. Double click into the folder from the downloads folder, uh, take the ghost folder, drag it directly into Wavecart Wii. Uh, now go back to the user folder, which you can either go back to the Dolphin X64 and hit user or just click it at the top of your screen here. Uh, then go to load, evolution, and when you're in here, all you have to do is go back in the downloads folder, take both of these folders, drag them straight into here, and then you're good to go. Uh, now if we go boot up Dolphin, by double clicking Dolphin EXE, you'll see we have our normal Dolphin setup, right? And all I got is Mario Kart Wii on this Dolphin install. Uh, right click Mario Kart Wii, hit start with revolution patches. Uh, by the way, you have to have your own Mario Kart Wii game if that wasn't obvious. You can't play this mod without actually owning Mario Kart Wii and having backed up the game yourself. Uh, the Dolphin setup will show how to have your backups load into the menu like this. Anyway, you hit start revolution patches, you should see something like this. Just enable pack, and if you have a my stuff folder, you can enable that as well. I don't have one right now, so I'm not going to show that off. Then once you have that all set up, hit save as preset. And name it whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to call it wave cart Wii, and hit save. And now you'll see it pop up in the menu, it means you can close this menu. And if you double click wave cart Wii, uh, you should see it load up. Right now, there's not really a custom menu screen, but you'll know you have it installed based on if there's a date created uh, thing on the main screen here. You can see here, right? Version created 3.12.2024. That's the current version. Uh, chances are, by the time you watch this video, there'll be a later version. But if you see that version created thing, that means you have the pack uh, up and running. And you can see it can go into single player, or they can change some of the settings around. See, there's a lot of nice settings. Fast menus is a great one. I like having that on. Uh, race settings, right? Me heads is great. Uh, battle glitch, I also like having on. And speedometer, but speedometer, speedometer. I feel like it's speedometer, but they have an extra E here. Uh, speedometer, you can change how many digits there are in the speedometer. And you can hit save and have those settings. You can see there's 150 CC, there's feather times as well. And I do actually have at the moment uh, one staff ghost that I set using feathers. And I can just show you that off real quick. We go to SNES Ghost Valley 2. You can see there we go. Staff ghost just for the feather time specifically. If I go race the ghost, it'll work like normal. Uh, there's also, you know, normal audience stuff playing, which I don't have recorded right now. Uh, but I'll, I'll enable that in a sec to help show that off. You can see, all right, we got our feather time. There's the staff ghost right ahead of us, all working fine. If I go back out and I go find the other staff ghost, because there's currently only two staff ghosts in this version, but every track will eventually have staff ghosts for every version. 
you can see, right, GB Luigi Circuit, there's nothing, but if I go back and I change to just normal 150cc, now GB Luigi Circuit has a staff ghost, so there's different ghosts for different CCs and feather and non-feather. Um, that will get filled up over time. You can contribute your own ghost and get accepted as a staff ghost as well by joining the Discord that will be linked both in the description and on the wiki. And uh, yeah, with that being said, that's how you install this all with Dolphin. That's how you get up and running. And uh, let me know if you have any problems or questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.